Hi, my name is Nick Caruso, and I just want to share a tip with everybody that I just learned yesterday. And uh, I've had this question quite a lot, and I never realized how simple it was to implement. So in AutoStore, when you're finished a route, when your route component is complete, um, sometimes you want to have a separate workflow if that route was successful or, and or if that route was failure. And I mean a completely new AutoStore workflow for those different tasks. So maybe on your success, you're going to uh, send a fax somewhere or print a, a confirmation or success confirmation page back to the device. Maybe on failure, you want to send it to SharePoint or whatever. I mean, you can leverage two completely separate workflows um, on success or failure of, of a workflow. I have a configuration here with auto capture and I'm just gonna be using send to folder. So um, as my demonstration. Um, but the key to this workflow is to use the, that, those knowledge package files. If you're not familiar with knowledge package files, there's a whole um, training curriculum on how to do that. But you're using knowledge package builder sent to folder. And then here's going to be my demo sent to accounting workflow. So, um, you know, you could have OCR and barcode processing and sending to SharePoint or whatever. I'm just going to be sending to a folder. But based upon if this is success or failure, it's going to kick off two completely different workflows here, a success workflow here or a failure workflow here. And again, you can do whatever you want in your success or failure workflow. And the way that you do that is based upon this on success or on failure, it's going to move the entire original knowledge package file into that success or failure workflow. So um, this has been available for quite some time. I don't know why I just realized it now or actually someone just shared it with me, um, but I thought this was very, very cool. And in this demonstration, what I'm going to be doing here is I'm just going to be sending it to a folder. I'll show you here. I'm going to, I'm going to send an output to this folder. Um, but I have my sent to folder option set that I'm not using the file counter. So the next time it sends it into this folder, it should fail. So on success, my workflow is I'm just going to send it to a success folder. And on failure, I'm just going to send it to a failure folder. Um, so what happens is it, it sends it to the success workflow here, which again, I'm just using um, sent to folder but um, you could be using sent to SharePoint or whatever. So let's go ahead and just, just show that to you in action. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit this file. You should see here that on success, it should pop in here. There it goes. And then, well, this is the original destination and then it sent the knowledge package file to the next workflow, which should have put it in here, great. And there's nothing in success and failure. But if I send it again, this will, it should error out Which, which, which should overflow into my failure workflow here. Give it a second, there you go. Um, so it's really just that simple. I just wanted to share that quick tip. I'm gonna zip up this directory um, so that you can um, play around with it yourself. Thanks, bye.